We've talked about all the different components of a net zero house, the super insulation inside the building, the fresh air. We've talked about solar, photovoltaics to make electricity from the sun so we could actually spin that meter backwards. And a couple weeks ago, we started talking about the super efficient heat pumps that are available now to be able to heat and cool this building. Well, today, the rubber meets the road. Our new HVAC equipment is on site. So out back here behind the barn is the outdoor unit that's going to provide all the heating and cooling for the entire main house. It's up on a stand and it's got all the components that we talked about a couple weeks ago when we talked about efficient heat pumps. Remember we talked about a compressor and when you compress a gas it gets hotter. Now this compressor is constantly changing its speed just right. We talked about an expansion valve that when we let a refrigerant release and get to a larger space it gets really cold. So all those components are happening inside right here. What we've talked about to this point has always been a thing called a heat pump. And with a heat pump or an air conditioning condenser that everybody else has, there's always two lines, or really a hot one and a cold one. And if it's in cooling mode, the refrigerant goes one way into the building. If it's in heating mode, the refrigerant reverses through this expansion valve up here. So this looks like a heat pump, but it isn't. It's actually called a heat recovery unit, which means it has a third pipe. And that third pipe will be hot, cold, and return. And that means that this unit could simultaneously heat and cool this building. That means on the south side, you could be cooling. And on the north side, you could be heating. And that makes all the difference. So these three lines come down into the ground and run this way in a trench into the building. Down here in the old basement of the main house, you can see our three lines coming in from our outdoor condenser right here. And they come into this box first and foremost. It's a heat recovery box. There's going to be two of them down here in the basement. And this is a really smart zoning box. Now we can have up to 12 individual zones in any building. In our case, we're only going to have five. And you know, when you think about these types of systems, they're always called variable refrigerant flow. And the unit choices will always look like this. And these things work fine, but many people don't want to see them. What's happened with this industry is there's been ways to now deliver that comfort invisibly. So now, off of this first set of ports right here, there's a series of ports, we'll have a set of refrigerant lines that go over to an air handler right here for the first floor. Now that will be much like a conventional furnace, but there's no burner inside. There's just a really smart heating and cooling coil that'll work off of here. And you can see the duct work delivering it to the first floor invisibly. Off the other ports, we're going to go to the second floor. On the second floor, there'll be two really small uh, air handlers. And those small air handlers, one will be on the south side, one will be on the north side. We'll be able to have individual zones on the top floor. Now this is where the system really shines because now if the sun is shining on the top floor, meaning needing air conditioning up there, and now that when you air condition, you bring back heat that the sun put into the building. It comes down to this very smart box and the box is smart enough to decide do I take that heat and set it outside or do I keep it in the building and use it and go over to the north side air handlers if I need to? And that's so brilliant. So we've got three air handlers so far. We've also got one more that is really cool, pun intended. Nick Restivo and his gang help us with the HVAC installation. So here's the unit for this basement area. You can see it's an evaporator unit that's going to heat and cool this room. A set of refrigerant lines right here, a condensate drain, and an electrical line right here. So there's a second unit that mounts on top of it. Okay, so you might say that's not beautiful. Well, this is. Here is a picture frame that'll mount right on there. I'll hold this, Nick, once you get it. Come on in. You're just tall enough for it, Nick, perfect. So look at that. So you can actually change this picture to anything you want. So with this system, we'll have a single box outside with enough power to heat the building on the coldest day, to cool the building on the hottest day. We can have individual zones inside and we can simultaneously heat and cool. But there's one more thing it can do. 
It can take that same heat that we've gathered and moved around. It can also use it to go to one more accessory that will be able to provide heating for the hot water for your faucet. So it ends up being one magic box outside that is perfect for a net zero house.